What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Motorfest and in today's video I do want to take a look at the Jim Connor Gridmasters playlist and of course go over around 20 plus challenges in it. Now for this playlist though I did around no now for this playlist I managed to do around 23 of the challenges in around 1 hour and 45 minutes so I would probably say this one really isn't going to be that terrible. Do keep in mind though guys three of the challenges two of them for that matter are with a crew and the other one is going to be finished three grand races in the lovely S1 e-tron. And then moving over to the next challenge is going to be the Gymkhana dog. So for this guys get the maximum score with the Gymkhana modifier enabled in a crew of at least two. So for this all you will have to do is to jump into one of the events in this playlist. By the way I would recommend doing one of the early ones to make this a tad easier. And make sure you guys are basically in a crew with at least one person. All you will then have to do is max out the Gymkhana modifier, which by the way is on the right part of the screen. It does also tend to have like four different levels to it, but all you guys will then have to do is max that out and you will get this challenge completed. And then for the next challenge is going to be the Gymkhana crew, which does say win the event the Hoonigan Burnyard in a crew of at least two or more. So it is going to be insanely similar to the recent challenge that is the Gymkhana dogs. For this guys you can do the challenge with at least one other person which I would probably say is going to be the easiest way to do so. Do keep in mind though this challenge does say win the event. I would recommend running this twice and basically winning each one. That way you and the other person get this completed. Now moving over to all of the main challenges here that can be done solo. So the first one here is going to be perform 10 precision strikes in the event Volcana. So for this challenge is actually going to be fairly simple. All you guys will actually have to do is to basically drift into like a pole or some of the items around the map like the fences. And once you actually drift into them it is going to count for a precision strike. Do keep in mind by the way this challenge is going to be fairly simple. But there is going to be a few of these you will have to do. So moving down here, you will also have to use the Audi S1 in free drive while doing the precision strikes in there as well. Keep in mind though, you're going to have to do 50 of these in this one. So I would say this one's probably going to take a bit of time. But one of the big tricks I have learned with this, guys, is yes, you can drift into the poles. Which for the other one, you will have to be in the Volcana event. So I would say aiming for a pole or even something like a fence is probably going to be the best way. Now the difference though with the Audi and also the Mitsubishi, because you also have to destroy 30 of these in free drive as well, or at least you know do a 30 precision strike for that matter. For this though guys, I would actually recommend heading into the Gymkhana Parkway and going after those weird like green things around these certain circles. That way you can actually go around the entire circle the entire time and get this done insanely quick. And now moving over to the next challenge though is going to be the Gymkhana DNA. I'm not going to lie, this one was honestly pretty confusing, but after getting the hang of this guys, I would actually say it's quite simple. All you will have to do is perform 5 danger in the event Volcana. So once again you will have to jump back into this event, but this time you have to use the Audi. For this though guys, you're actually going to have to do this off of the jump that's around 31% into this event. So all you actually have to do is when jumping off of the ramp, Make sure you guys are straight and then basically turn your car to the left a bit. You can also turn your car to the right as well which is indeed going to get you at least one every time you jump. Do keep in mind you can also go back and do this jump every time you actually do it. Which funnily enough is exactly what I did. All you guys will have to do as soon as you get one of the dangers. Turn around and head back up that hill a bit. Go back and hit the jump until you get all five of these. Now moving over to the next challenge is going to be the Gymkhana Airlines. Perform 5 perfect landings in the Gymkhana Grid Park. For this guys is actually going to be very simple. All you will have to do is head to the bottom part of the Gymkhana Park. Which by the way is probably going to be the best place to do this. And of course you get to use the lovely Hoonicorn. All you will have to do is head for one of the main jump areas. Hit your nitrous a bit. And do keep in mind you will also have to land straight to get one of these every time. Now moving over to the next challenge is going to be the Gymkhana Speed. For this all you will have to do is hit 217 miles an hour in the lovely Gymkhana Grid Park. So for this guys I would recommend having your vehicle leveled a bit. At this point I would probably say most players probably have a maxed out drift car so 
Hitting 217 miles an hour with the Audi is probably going to be fairly simple. I would also recommend spawning by the hangar. That way you actually have a straight shot to basically fly through the entire park to hit 217 miles an hour. And now moving over to the next challenge is going to be drive from the Oahu Airport to the Jim Connor Grid Park in less than 5 minutes. So for this you will have to use the lovely Hoonicorn again. I would recommend by the way guys spawning over to the skill that's in the middle of the airport. That way you can basically spawn right there. Now all you will have to do from there is basically put a waypoint on the bridge that's going to the grid park. That way you can get there as quickly as possible. I do want to mention by the way guys you probably do not need a maxed out drift car to do this one. And that's probably going to come down to the fact that the Jim Connor Grid Park is pretty dang close to the Oahu Airport. And then moving over to the next challenge is indeed going to have to be done in the Hoonicorn again. So for this guys, the Gymkhana run's actually going to be like a Gymkhana style of an event. Who knew? Most likely because you know the name of the challenge. But you will have to win the Rocket Science in less than 5 minutes. So for this event though, I would recommend putting the event difficulty on level 1. That way you can actually get through this a lot quicker. And the overall score to actually complete the event is also going to be lower. Now moving over to the next challenge though, perform 10 donuts at the Mauna Pella Observatory in free drive. So for this one guys, all you will have to do is to basically head over to the observatory on the top of this mountain here. It's basically going to be insanely close by to the Descent Off-Road Playlist event, right about here pretty much under it. All you will then have to do is basically spawn here with the Evo and then drive up this mountain and do the donuts around in this area. Now I do want to mention by the way guys when I did end up doing this one though I basically drove right over to this hangar area here by pretty much this really weird looking shark thing that's painted here. But all you guys will have to do if you are wondering to do a donut, all you will have to do when sitting in one place is to basically hold the gas and the brake down and then basically turn the analog stick left or right until the donut thing shows up. And then moving over to the next challenge guys is going to be the Gymkhana Demolition. Perform 5 close drifts around the Wrecking Ball in the Gymkhana Grid Park. So for this challenge I would say it is probably going to be fairly simple. Looking at the Gymkhana Park right now guys the Wrecking Ball is going to be in the middle here. All you will then have to do is to basically drift around it. Make sure by the way you guys get insanely close to the barrier and this challenge should be fairly quick. Now moving over to the next challenge is going to be the Gymkhana Tire Slayer. Perform 50 close drifts in Honolulu. So for this challenge guys I would probably say is going to be fairly frustrating. Mainly because you obviously have to do a close drift in Honolulu. So the easiest way I found to do this though is to basically head over to the convention center. Which by the way is probably going to have like the most open area for this. Now spawning over here I would recommend spawning over to the skill here. Or of course heading over to the one on the right part of the map over here. But the best place I found to do this one though guys is definitely going to be here on the left part of the building. Do keep in mind by the way even with doing this here it is going to take a while. The big thing by the way is to make sure you guys leave some of the bushes up. And also aim pretty close for the trees to get this done as quickly as possible. Now moving over to the next challenge is going to be perform 10 precision in the Jim Connor Grid Park. So for this guys I'm not going to lie this one was honestly slightly confusing but after a while I do actually think I know exactly what you have to do. So for the precision you normally have to get close to a vehicle. 
And of course, you know, get very close to two of them for the precision to activate, at least when going on the main roads around the map. For this though, I'm sure a lot of players did end up noticing how many of the cars in the grid park do tend to despawn for some odd reason. So I found a decent place by the grass by the left side of the hangar where there is sometimes going to be a truck right there. And of course, going by that one, I did get this done fairly quick. Also, there sometimes is going to be cars on the left side of the hangar as well, which did seem to be the best way to get this one completed. And then for the next challenge, guys, all you will then have to do is spend one minute in the air. And of course, you will also have to use the Hoonicorn while doing it. I would say this challenge is going to be fairly simple, especially in the park. I would say, guys, that's probably going to be the quickest way to do it. There is literally going to be jumps everywhere. So I would say that minute is most likely going to go by fairly quick. Now, I do want to mention, by the way, one of the other challenges is going to be done at the same time. Of course, you guys will have to spend 10 minutes inside of the Jim Connor Grid Park while driving the Hoonicorn. And then for the next challenge, guys, get a perfect clean driving score in the event the Grid Paradise. So for this one, there is not going to be a locked vehicle for it. So you can run something like the Hoonicorn or even like the Audi S1 e-tron, but I actually decided to run the lovely Evo 9. Do keep in mind, by the way, you have to have the clean driving modifier active for this challenge to actually work. I would also recommend having that event on level 1 and basically taking your time. And then for the next challenge, guys, perform grind during 25 seconds in the Jim Connor Grid Park. Now, I have to admit, I don't really know why this actually says during, but it should most likely say for 25 seconds. All you will then have to do, though, is basically look for the grinding rails around the entire Jim Connor Park. And then for the next challenge, guys, win the event the Gymkhana Motorfest with a perfect Gymkhana score. So for this, you will actually have to have the Gymkhana modifier active. And of course, you will have to max that all the way out to level 4 to get it. I would say this challenge probably isn't going to be insanely difficult. But one of the biggest tips I can say is definitely have this event on level 1 to give you as much time as possible. And then moving over to the no. And then moving over to the next challenge is going to be perform five ground spins in the event Skoto vs Skoto with the Jim Kana modifier enabled. So for this challenge, guys, I'm sure it's probably going to be slightly confusing because, well, what is a ground spin? Funnily enough, this is actually going to be one of the easiest challenges to do in this entire playlist. I also do want to recommend, by the way, to try out the Evo 9. But of course, you can also use the Audi S1 and the Hoonicorn. But for this challenge though, all you will then have to do is to basically go in a straight line with a decent amount of speed, and then of course hit that e-brake and turn your analog stick left or right. That is then going to send the car into a 180. By the way, if you guys are going fast enough, you can do a full 360 on this, getting this done twice as fast. And then for the next challenge guys, perform two no gravities on the business plaza rooftop. So for this, I actually thought this challenge was fairly odd, but luckily finding the business plaza is going to be fairly simple. It is going to be this very weird looking building that almost looks like a UFO in the middle. And of course is like a, you know, a bowl you would probably put cereal in. Anybody got some milk? But besides that though, all you guys will then have to do is spawn over to this skill. After that guys, do make sure the Hoonicorn is indeed your favorite ground vehicle. And then of course aim for the lovely cereal bowl. Once you guys are in the business plaza building though, this challenge is actually going to be fairly simple. I would recommend starting on one side of the bowl, and then of course going up the other side, but before you guys jump out of it, make sure you hit that e-brake and basically perform a drift. 
and then of course go into the air sideways all you will then have to do is to do that twice And then for the next challenge, all you will then have to do is basically drive 9.3 miles on asphalt. I would probably say this challenge is most likely going to be fairly simple. And by the way guys, when doing this challenge with the lovely Evolution 9, you can also go after all of the rocket collectibles in the Jim Connor Grid Park. Which by the way, I would say this is probably the easiest collectible thing you have to do out of every single playlist. And then for the next challenge, all you will then have to do is win the event Race Kana while driving the Evolution 9. For this, guys, I would say the biggest thing is to put this event on level 1. That is going to make it that much easier to get that win. And then for the final challenge, guys, all you will then have to do is to equip a Tire Vanity to the Lancer. All you will have to do for this is to head into your customization of the vehicle, add any of your tire vanities, and this will be completed. Overall though, the challenges for the Gridmasters playlist were honestly quite simple. I managed to get all of mine done in around 1 hour and 45 minutes. But if you guys have any questions at all, let me know in the comments below. Let's collect all of these rewards now.